If you're one of those lucky teachers who gets to teach the same course year after year, you might have a Google form that you would like to reuse. Now, the most common way to do this is to go to the kebab, the three dots up here, and make a copy because it will just make a copy of the Google form. But then I'm going to have two versions of trial quiz. That might not be exactly what I want. So let me show you a different way to reuse a form. First, let's go to the responses. Now with this, we know we have a spreadsheet that was collecting data. So it has 12 responses, but I did delete a bunch of responses. So in my summary, I only have one. So I'm close, but I'm not quite there. What we need to do is first click the three dots here and unlink the form. So are you sure you want to unlink this form with the current spreadsheet? Yes, because then new responses to this form will no longer be sent to the spreadsheet, but existing data will not be deleted. What that means is this spreadsheet will live on with all of this data and I can unlink it for the next school year. So after you've made unlinked this particular spreadsheet, the next step is to click the three dots and delete all responses. Am I sure? Yes. So now it's like I have a brand new form. So what I can do now is click create a new spreadsheet and maybe this is going to be for the 2022 school year and I can create that. So now any responses are going to be in my 2022 trial quiz instead of the original trial quiz spreadsheet. But I have the spreadsheet here just in case I need to review perhaps where students struggled last year so that I know how to better prepare them for this coming school year. So instead of making a copy, we can unlink the form from the spreadsheet, delete all the responses, and begin anew with our new spreadsheet. So I hope that helps you reuse Google Forms and keep your Google Drive a little neater.